no looking at the viewfinder do not look at the viewfinder okay okay hi hey guys it's Nye. welcome to or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a tips for small growing youtubers slash influencers i feel like these tips are really beneficial and like i kind of really just started using all of this i really do hope this video helps out a lot of people because i always have people asking me like how do you get views on your video or like how do you get so many subscribers or whatever if you're stuck in like a stagnant position right now with your channel i highly advise that you watch this video all the way because Honestly, using all of these tips really got me out of that. Because when I tell y'all, I was stuck at 515 subscribers for a month. If this is your first time ever seeing my face, hello, I'm Naya. Hey, I hope you subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to hit 1500 in a week. So, like, I gotta need you to subscribe. But, yeah, only subscribe if you really want to, like, mess with my content. Without further ado, let's get it popped. So, first things first, you want to be yourself and be original in some way. I know it is very hard to be original because, obviously, everything is so repetitive. Like, you have all these challenges that people are just going to keep doing and doing and doing. Like, what's going to bring somebody to watch your channel, your morning routine, your, you know? You put your own twist on things. It is really hard coming up with video ideas. And that's what I try to tell people that just want to hop into youtube like, do you really want to do youtube or do you want to do youtube because you see how easy it is to have money oh my gosh please do not start a youtube channel just going into it thinking that you're about to like just make a big bang 50 percent of the people that go into it with that mindset actually get it but then 50 percent of the people that go into that mindset never move anyway they stuck like because they don't know what to do they don't know how to edit they don't know how to do anything to be honest with y'all i had stopped youtube for a while like like three months a while i was stuck in that mindset like i'll never be anything i'll never be able to make money off of this like anything like that's a toxic mindset to be in if you're on youtube make your titles and descriptions look pleasing to the eye don't have a title that's like all capital letters and then like you stop the capital letters you do like this for example i have put a rant about motivation so like the two main points in the video i have made those capitalized and same thing goes for your thumbnail i'm sorry but like when you do a thumbnail and it's like you and then like you're like an ocean and like the video has nothing to do with the ocean you're just playing around with editing you have to really think about what's gonna look best for the thumbnail for the video and i'm not saying i have the best thumbnails like don't get me wrong there's some thumbnails even to this day that i just do and i just do it because like the video is going up right then and there and i need the thumbnail but like when i like take time on my thumbnails you can tell just really try and like you know make your thumbnails look as best as possible oh my gosh this one is so big please and i cannot stress this enough take time take time to edit do not try to rush and edit every single video you have it shows if you rush and edit okay so so like if i'm cutting up a clip i'm to this side y'all see that did y'all did y'all see that it's gonna sound like that it's not that big of a deal but like you just want it to flow hey, oh my gosh something else if you're talking you're telling the story whatever and you say oh i'll insert the video here and there's no video insert or personally me if i'm watching the video and they're like oh yeah we took these pictures i'll insert them on the screen and i'm looking on the screen there's no pictures bro i get so like i'm just like what like why would you do that if not just cut that part out like literally just trim that whole topic out and you don't have to even worry about it if you weren't listening before please listen to me right now you do not have to have the most amazing quality to succeed and be a youtuber if you're sitting here thinking like hey, what is she talking about like that doesn't even make any sense i know where you're coming from because with my old camera like, i would get so frustrated with the quality because it was just like I was just like oh like I can't make a good video because I don't have good quality it's more of like what you're saying what you're doing in the video it's not about the quality somebody that really inserted that into my mind is my mom because I used to complain to my mom all the time but speaking of software and all that stuff I'm just gonna give y'all these stats real quick because everybody literally everybody always asks me what I edit with blah, blah. Oh, I'm about to run it down for y'all let me scoot over a little bit it's actually over here. I used to film with this camera right here. It is a Fujifilm Fine Pix S8 200. I also used to film with my iPhone 7 Plus. And so this was the camera. This is what it looks like. Should I give this camera away? Like a small YouTuber giveaway and just give them this camera? Like it's not the best camera, but like it's a good starter camera to be honest. Matter of fact, if you got to this point, 
Comment down below if I should do that. And maybe if I do decide to do it, I'll pick from the comments on this video. And then for editing software, I've been using Filmora, Wondershare. Still sometimes I'll edit the clips that I take on my phone with iMovie and then I'll send it to myself and put it in my video. For music, I use like SoundCloud. I'll actually link my SoundCloud below. I have like a whole playlist of like YouTube music. Music either that you can cut down to a certain limit and not get copyrighted or like copyright free music editing software I use. They have music in there and I believe it's all copyright free because I've used it and, and I didn't get copyright. For my thumbnails, I did a whole video about that. I'll link it down below and it's popping up in one of these eyes. I also have a video coming out this week actually of how I made my banner. I have gotten some questions about that too. So I have a video so stay tuned and subscribe for that. All I gotta say is big ups to Madison Sloan. No cap, she was the one that kind of got me into this next one, which is promoting yourself. Like, if you don't promote yourself, who's gonna promote you? I could care less if somebody has something bad to say about my YouTube channel because... I'm doing my thing. Like, I'm doing something I like to do. Next big thing is to network. It can be if you hear somebody talking about YouTube and you want to go butt into the conversation and be like, hey, I have a YouTube channel a lot. Do that. Meet up with YouTubers in your state. I live in Michigan. You know how many YouTubers are in Michigan? Oh my God. This one kind of coincides with promoting yourself. Use hashtags, please. Like, that is the biggest thing. When I started using hashtags, like, my life went from like here to here. Literally make a note of like hashtag and copy and paste onto your Instagram pictures and boom um, after this video I need to eat something because I'm so hungry like about to throw up hungry anyways um definitely you want to use hashtags that relate to yourself so like small youtuber black girl blog black youtubers now I, obviously I have Naya Nation wig <laughs> cuz like we definitely want to be active on other people's posts. I'm not just talking about being active on YouTubers posts. Like, don't just be active on big YouTubers that you want to notice you post. Be active on other people's posts. Like, you got to think about it like this. If people see you and then they see you got a pretty profile picture, like, people always compliment my profile picture because it's, like, upside down, good light. So, people always, like, look at, like, my profile picture. Because if you have an appealing profile picture, people are more likely to click on your account and be like, oh, what does he or she look like? If I see somebody's profile picture looking fine, I'm gonna click on not only do you do it for your fellow like youtubers or whatever but also do it for big youtubers because obviously that's good networking something also that I noticed with bigger youtubers don't just comment hard eyes or like whatever like actually comment words because then they're more y'all no cap I thought I was about to get kidnapped I'm literally shaking because I opened the door for the UPS man right and then like he like <laughs> grabbed the door and he like pushed the door open a little bit more and like he got he didn't step in my house but like he got close real like real like close not today satan not today like actually say something about like their post they are more likely to pay attention to your comment because you know think about it they're getting like so many notifications all the time must be nice it's something i actually recently just started doing and it's really um it's kind of weird it's not weird but like you do is you reach out to other youtubers following so literally whenever i have like extra time or i'm bored those other youtubers page right i'll scroll through their comments and like whenever i see a comment like oh when's your next upload click on whoever said that account before what i was saying was hey i'm a youtuber i'm trying to hear one kill a lot you'll mean a lot to me if you check out my channel binge watch my videos whatever whatever and boom you send it they either reply or they don't actually i really do like doing that because like i feel like i already have a connection with the subscriber then some of them are so sweet you guys and i hope y'all still with me if you still with me comment down below do stuff for sub but to an extent uh like i cannot stress this enough like okay let's just say you have a hundred thousand subscribers right but they're all from sub for sub so then you end up with like a thousand views you don't want that it doesn't make sense and i'm not gonna sit here and say that you're gonna do sub for sub a hundred thousand times and then i know like sub for sub can be really tempting because you can see like you can literally watch your subscriber count go up and you want to have people that's actually watching your videos and actually interacting with you and that's also why i said reach out to other people's following watch time is a thing too like especially for me personally, I'm trying to make my hobby a career. I don't know already. In order to be monetized on YouTube, you have to have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. Now, I already have 1,000 subscribers now, period, poop. But I'm trying to get that 4,000 watch hours. That's a lot. And last but not least, most important, if any, and that is to post during the hot times of the internet. I cannot stress this one enough. Hey, if you're posting Monday through Friday, post four o'clock to 9 p.m 
why when everybody gets out of school off of work like they're gonna be watching your content big youtubers always post at like four o'clock because they know the algorithm i'm not a big youtuber but i know the algorithm okay okay period youtube I have, a, I have a message for you. If you're watching this, put my videos on the homepage, please. I beg of you. For weekends, the hot times are 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Why? Because everybody just waking up. They know they have plans later. They know they're about to go get off. When they wake up, what they're going to do? They're going to get on YouTube. They're going to scroll, see who, what YouTuber they subscribe to. Oh, they see Naya and Naya posted just 10 minutes ago. So we're going to watch her video. We're going to give it a thumbs up. We're going to comment. I'm really not trying to sound like I know it all or anything like that you have like 500 subscribers right do not post a video at 2 in the morning because it's likely that most of your subscribers are asleep they're never gonna see your video and they woke up and now your video is pushed all the way down to the subscriber feed and nobody even scrolls that far your, your video is just gonna get lost in the sauce literally honestly if you take any piece of advice take that piece please and with that being said this video is finally over i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you out in some way if it did give this video a thumbs up subscribe help me hit oh i was about to say 1k oh my god i hit 1k already subscribe to help me hit 1500 subscribers before the end of november so if you have subscribed to my channel then big ups to you honestly because you like you you make my heart go boom 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 and my heart go boom boom a supernova girl so follow all my social medias at night and i ain't on all platforms and if you do have an instagram and you're watching this right now i want you to stop what you're doing go on instagram swipe over to the story take a picture or a boomerang of some point of this video and hashtag it naya nation and also at me so that i can see and the reason i want you to do this is because i want to start interacting with everybody watching my videos and like yeah so do that Please, thank you. And yeah, that's all for this video. Bye, y'all.